Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and if you could probably guess by now, I reviewed the first Hellboy movie. So I am, for the first time, watching and reviewing Hellboy 2 The Golden Army. This movie came out in 2008, so it took four years to make this film. It's once again written and directed by Guillermo del Toro. The plot is we see Hellboy once again uh, with Liz and Abe. They're still working for that secret organization, which at this point, let's be honest, how much of a secret is Hellboy? He's been out there exposed in the public. But we have a brand new villain, Prince Nawadu or something like that. He's this albino looking dude who basically wants to find and steal this crown, which will enable him to control the Golden Army and most likely take over, destroy the world. What else? So what I thought of Hellboy 2 The Golden Army is, honestly, it's the same almost exact feeling that I had after watching the first one, which isn't bad, not bad at all, but I don't love it either. It's one of those things where let's talk about the good. Guillermo del Toro, I'm not somebody who so far has loved a Guillermo del Toro movie. Maybe there's a couple that you guys can name that you'll say, Yo, you'll love this one. And I'm sure I will if I watch it. But so far, the ones that I have watched, they've either been okay or good. Nothing that's blown me away, nothing that's really kept me or, or got me interested in his fantastical world that he loves to go into. But I will say that visually, special effects wise, just like the first movie, I, I enjoyed that aspect of it. I thought the effects were really good. A lot more CGI heavy, sure. But like, for example, that one scene where the big, huge creature comes out of the streets into the, and, and is destroying the the town and Hellboy has to fight it and and as good as it looked as cool as it was to have a big action scene like that I was wondering at that moment does this movie need to be this big does it need to be so spectacular so overblown with the effects and the creatures can we have done this and I guess I'm thinking about this too because the third movie never happened and supposedly he wanted to go even bigger and it's one of those things where I don't know if the character needed it. Ron Perlman is great as Hellboy. I find him amusing, funny, charismatic, interesting, and the effects still look good for him. But a creature like that, just the idea of a creature like that who was meant to be evil, but because of his upbringing, he has a personality to him, has a good side to him. And I like that. I liked his relationship with Liz, once again, Selma Blair who you could question whether or not Selma Blair is the greatest person in the world for Hellboy because she doesn't really seem into him or she's only into him to a point, but it's like she's not happy living with him, which I admit he is a slob, so there's that, but it's like she's looking for every chance she can to break up with him or to get away from him. Then we find out she's pregnant. Oops! <coughs> So she's frantic. She's like, she could tell you she does not want this baby at all. And it's not until there's a point where Hellboy is about to die or, or he's close to death to where she almost feels bad for him and then accepts being with him. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out like, does she really love this guy? Does she? Abe Sapien is, is great once again. I found him very interesting, especially since Doug Jones is doing the voice now for him. In fact, Doug Jones does the the motioning for like two or three other characters in the movie. Uh, so that was interesting. But let's talk about the villain. The villain is Prince Nuwada, like I said. And he's a better villain than the first movie's villain. I will admit that. He looks cooler. He is more of a badass, he's more capable. There are scenes where he's killing dudes by himself. So I'm like, okay, this guy knows what he's doing. He has a clear goal. It's just not a whole lot to him. He's another villain who just wants to destroy the world, to take over the world. And you just, you've seen that so many times. 
I was more interested by his sister, the princess, because at first I thought, oh, okay, you're going to have this brother-sister combo of a villains, and he seems so dedicated to her and doing everything for her that I thought, okay, maybe she's calling the shots, or maybe she's the one who's telling him what to do. But then there came a point where she was like, whoa, I don't want to do this. Like, this is too far. I'm not looking to aid you in finding this crown. In fact, when she finds the crown, she runs off, goes to the heroes, and basically says, keep this away from him. And then Abe Sabian starts to fall in love with her, and then they have a side plot, which I... So that character, the princess, that went into a direction that I completely wasn't expecting. I was very surprised about, and I enjoyed it. And even her towards the end, and what she was willing to do, I was like, this character, there's a lot more to this character than I initially thought. So I liked the actress, I liked that. Also, I should mention this secret underground government facility thing. They're called the Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense. Now, I know this is from the comic books. Uh, they're very interesting just to have any type of secret organization that knows about paranormal things or knows about that and they're trying to keep it a secret. I've always liked this idea. And I like Jeffrey Tambor as the head of it and the fact that he doesn't always get along with Hellboy and the fact that he's trying to cover up after him constantly. But ever since uh, his father, John Hurt, died, now they've gotten closer. So I appreciate that. Once again, this movie is not bad, not bad at all. I like a lot of the visuals, I like a lot of the action, and I really love the Hellboy character. But other than that, it's just, it's not a lot else for me to connect to. It's not a lot else for me to fall in love with. I get that other people love these movies. I'm somebody who's now more interested to see what a new take on this, this world, this character, to see what else we can do with him, because I do think there's something there so guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you think of Hellboy 2? Do you love it? Is it something that you're like, no, you're wrong. These are one of the best movies ever. Or do you understand why I just don't love them? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.